Here is the southwestern part of Tokyo. You can find a long-shaped facility that stands out in skyscrapers lined up. This is the Naval Systems Research Center Acquisition, Technology and Logistics Agency. In Japan's maritime defense, Naval Systems Research Center, or NSRC, is an important institution to conduct research and technical evaluations of naval ships and underwater weapons. In this video, we will introduce our efforts for the future and our daily research and work. On December 18, 2018, the Government of Japan established National Defense Program Guidelines and Mid-Term Defense Program. These documents seek to acquire and strengthen capabilities in new domains, which are space, cyberspace and electromagnetic spectrum. Moreover, they aim to enhance the capabilities in traditional domains such as maritime and air domains. Based on this, in 2019, the Ministry of Defense formulated an R&D vision that indicates the direction of mid- to long-term R&D from a strategic perspective. The R&D vision outlines a variety of future concepts such as the organic cooperation of unmanned machines for underwater warfare. Under the monitoring of the Land Command and others, diverse and numerous unmanned machines organically cooperate, aiming for autonomous underwater defenses such as ISR, support, countermeasures. In water, multiple UUVs operate autonomously and cooperatively, and they collect underwater information while constantly monitoring underwater infrastructures. To realize this R&D vision, NSRC is currently working on the research of the Large Displacement Unmanned Underwater Vehicle, or LDUUV. LDUUV has a significant feature. It consists of several modules assigned for specific function so that you can make various kinds of LDUUV optimized for the mission by just changing the module units. For example, with keeping the long-term propulsion unit, you can rapidly and cost-effectively deploy ISR UUVs the underwater equipment delivering UUVs, and so forth. The Naval Systems Research Center is now constructing a facility to study UUVs in Iwakuni City, Yamaguchi Prefecture. This facility will be equipped with a large acoustic tank and a high-precision simulator. The acoustic tank here is huge with a depth of 11 meters, which is slightly larger than the baseball diamond. This tank allows us to conduct more accurate experiments using the sound that our simulator generates. We'll accumulate model data with the simulator and other test equipment and compare it with the real data gathered in the sea. Next, we'll explain three goals of NSRC to acquire future undersea warfare capabilities. Our three goals are to optimize the sonar system, to enhance stealth capabilities of all marine vehicles, and to deploy UUVs rapidly as we just showed you. 
we've been integrally conducting simulations, model tests and facilities, and field tests to make progress for the goals. The Undersea Warfare Technology Division, the Unmanned Maritime Vehicles and Underwater Weapons Technology Division, the Naval Platform and Signature Technology Division, and Kawasaki Branch are in charge of each goal, and they also work together for the three goals. The Naval Systems Research Center has four areas, Meguro District, Kawasaki Branch, Kurihama District, and Ose Test Facility. In this video, we will introduce the Meguro District and Kawasaki Branch. The Meguro District has several test facilities that are mainly relevant to naval vessels. Researchers and scientists of the Undersea Warfare Technology Division, the Unmanned Maritime Vehicles, and Underwater Weapons Technology Division, and the Naval Platform and Signature Technology Division are working hard every day. A 360-meter-long building could be most prominent in Meguro District. In the building, there is a large towing tank, which is 247 meters long, 12 meters wide, and a depth of 7 meters. It is the oldest existing tank in Japan. The carriage tows the model ship to measure the resistance, the movement, and others received by the model. This is why large towing tank has a long length. Also, there is another huge test facility in this area. This facility is called the Flow Noise Simulator, or FNS. Uh, we set various scale models of submarines, propellers and others. In the FNS, we obtain various kinds of data to enhance the performances, such as the acoustic noise reduction. Here is the NSRC Kawasaki branch. This facility is located in the suburbs of Kawasaki City and has a large area to avoid the magnetism radiated by the surrounding houses and buildings. Kawasaki Prototypes should be tested not only in the laboratory, but also eventually in the actual environment to make sure they have the expected performance. For example, this prototype of an autonomous mine detector was tested many times in the sea by the Naval Systems Research Center. After undergoing tests by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Forces, this autonomous underwater vehicle was equipped as OZZ-5. The Naval Systems Research Center has been taking part in various R&D of marine vessels, sonar, underwater weapons, and so on. The Naval Systems Research Center also actively collaborates with external parties. As a part of this effort, we participate in international exhibitions to showcase our research. Meanwhile, our young scientists make oral presentations on our research at international conferences.
Hello, I'm Kaneko, the director of Naval Systems Research Center. We hope you enjoyed our video a lot. Meanwhile, our research center must be the front runner of Japan maritime defense technologies. We were also considering to cooperate with research institute, domestic or overseas, to create innovation together. It could be a good first step to discuss fundamental technologies. Thank you.